Oh, let's turn to Bob Pisani on this uh, new intraday high, first in several months. Morning, Bob. You know, Sam Stovall, my old friend at CFRA, Carl, always used to say that uh, new highs are kind of like rusty doors. You have to push on them several times before you finally get them open. And that's exactly what happened with the new highs. Let's just take a look at the sectors today because... Hey, what's happened is, again, you can see technology is helping push us through there. Uh, banks not doing so much. Uh, industrials and energy modest gains, but they have been overall laggers. This has been largely a tech rally here. Just want to note uh, the retail, uh, I call them blowout uh, comp store sales numbers from uh, Home Depot, Walmart, and even advanced auto parts were terrific. Home Depot down a little bit, but remember, it hit an historic high at the open today. So uh, a little bit of profit taking maybe is in order. Now, Kohl's is a little bit different here. They had good numbers, but they were talking about soft back to school shopping. And that may be an issue for a lot of people. Uh, bear that in mind. But you see Kohl's to the downside, even though their report wasn't that bad. But let's just call it the same store sales blowout. You do not usually get estimates off by uh, 100% at this point. Home Depot, look at that, 23%. The estimate was 10. Walmart, 9 uh, estimate was five and great online sales from Walmart, advanced auto parts, seven. The estimate was for two. These are way above uh, normal numbers, normal uh, deviations from analyst estimates. Now, remember, we want to hear more about back to school. That may be slower than normal. And that may be issue. But uh, these are terrific numbers. As for the new highs on the S&P 500, look how far we have come in six months. I'm talking six months. The historic high, the old one, February 19th. The bear market bottom, that was March 23rd. That was a drop of 34%. That was the shortest bear market since 1929. It lasted 33 calendar days from February 19th to March 23rd. That's remarkable. And there's that new all-time high for today. We rallied 50% off of those March 23rd lows. Took less than five months to get back to new highs. That's the, I believe, the third fastest uh, rally to recoup all that it lost behind 1982 and 1990. Just want to remind everyone, still very much driven by technology, those mega cap stocks moving things along uh, dramatically and still lagging behind from that February 19th rally or the industrials, the banks, uh, and the energy stocks down 31%. So remember, a lot of companies still not back to anywhere near their old highs. As for where we're going from here, choppy. That's the B of A Global Fund Manager Survey just came out today. Most of them do not expect a V-shaped rally. Most talking about a W. And the most crowded trade, guys, Carl, long U.S. tech still there. But here's something I haven't seen before. Long gold is now showing up as a crowded trade. Of course, gold sitting over $2,000.